Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to share with you 10 different productivity tips for Adobe XD which are going to make you faster and more productive. So without any further ado, let's get started. When you finished your design and you want to add colors or character styles, simply select your R port, click on the plus where it says colors and it's going to add all the colors from this design. Also same story for the character styles, simply click on it and it will add all the character styles located in this particular design. When you want to highlight something on canvas, simply right click on your color and you can see highlight on canvas. It will show you where it is. Same story goes for the character style, so you can highlight on canvas and it will show you the instances. And this is particularly useful for your components because you can simply right click on your component and see highlight on canvas where it is located, especially if you have multiple artboards at the same time. When you want to quickly change the opacity of something, you can use the opacity slider right here, but the quicker way is to use numbers on your keyboard. So zero is for 100%, one is for 10%, two is for 20%. Once again, zero is for 100%, but if you press it twice, it will go back to 0%. When you have multiple groups or layers in your design, instead of clicking on each of them and then opening each of them up in order to get to them, all you need to do is simply hold your command or control key and simply click on the layer you want. It will jump straight to it and then double clicking on it will allow you to edit it however you want. When you want to go into desktop preview mode, all you need to do is select the airport name and then click right here which is going to launch your desktop preview. But especially if you have multiple artboards open at the same time, faster way to do this is simply click on the artboard name and hit control or command enter, which is going to launch the full preview mode wherever you are in your design. To quickly switch between design, prototype and share, you can click on them or you can use command or alt 1, 2 and 3 to switch between design, prototype and share wherever you are in your design. If you have two monitors, you can launch the desktop preview, put it on a second screen and see the changes you make to your design in real time. When you want to quickly rename the layers or group names, all you have to do is double click on the first one, rename it, and then instead of clicking out and then clicking in again, all you need to do is press tab to go down and to rename the next one, and then press tab to go down to rename the next one. or press shift plus tab to go and rename the top one and then once again press shift tab to go up and rename the first one. When you have multiple components you want to group, select all of them by holding shift, then right clicking on it and say new group from selection. When you give it a name and you want to put your components to a separate group, for example, right here I have this master group called atoms and molecules, all you have to do is right click on it, hit move to, and then select atoms and molecules, in my case click move, and you're going to notice that they are moved to that group. If you want to position them differently, simply click on the, this group and move it out, and then you're going to see this blue line showing you where you can place it in that particular group. Stack feature for Adobe XD is super useful, especially if you're working with responsive design. So when you're ready to switch for your responsive design, all you need to do is simply replace all of your assets with the assets that you want them to replace with. And when you're ready, all you have to do is simply switch the direction of your stack, adjust the elements if needed, and you're going to get the perfect responsive design every single time. Thank you for watching today's video, I really hope you found these tips helpful, if you did, make sure to press that like button and make sure to subscribe, I upload new videos every single week about Adobe XD, passive income techniques, design and much more here on the channel, so if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and until next time, take care.